The neighborhoods that this hospital, Elmhurst Hospital, serves are among the ones in New York City most hard hit by the coronavirus, and new information out from the city backs that up. Queens and the Bronx heavily represented among the zip codes that are most strongly affected, but the absolutely most strongly affected for coronavirus deaths is in Brooklyn. It's the main trauma hospital for North Central Queens, and newly released information shows that this part of New York City had among the highest numbers in every category related to coronavirus. Sorry to be talking about such a sad topic, but we are at this point trying to make sure there's transparency, obviously, even including about painful things. That will come out this afternoon. This is the listing the mayor was talking about. It has a series of interactive maps that show the number of COVID-19 deaths, as well as cases and positive tests listed by zip code. The neighborhood with the highest number of deaths for every 100,000 residents, Canarsie and the Flatlands, Brooklyn. Second highest, Far Rockaway, Queens. Other places with the highest numbers, Flushing, Queens, the Northeast Bronx, and Coney Island, Brooklyn. Each had more than 400 people die per 100,000 residents. In Canarsie and the Flatlands, it was more than 600. Still, Mayor Bill de Blasio is accentuating the positive. That's amazing. The mayor talking about a significant drop in hospitalizations for COVID, but in the number of ICU visits and newly diagnosed cases, the numbers are up slightly or just even. It's part of the reason why, when he's asked about the city reopening, the mayor gives the same response. The first opportunity, first half of June, is the first opportunity to relax anything. A detailed look at the metrics shows New York City may actually be closer to beginning to reopen than one might think. It needs to reduce new hospitalizations to two per 100,000 people. It's just above that. The city has to have 30% of its hospital beds vacant. It has 29, and it's moving closer to having enough contact tracers. So the city is inching toward being able to start reopening. Now, if you want to find out how your zip code figures in how affected it has been by coronavirus, the full survey is at pix11.com.